All right, guys, let's check out this new diver release from Borealis. This is actually a current one, and I'll put a link in the description down below. You can go to their website, and what they do is a 50% pre-order down payment. This one's only $145 down payment. And then when they are ready to ship, estimated July of 2021, then you pay the other half, the other $145, and then they ship it. So... Now that that's out of the way, I know some people like that, some people don't like that. Um, let's get into the watch. So, now this is a prototype, so things may change. You'll have to follow the Borealis website, and they will cover those changes. But typically when Carlos, the owner of Borealis, sends me over a prototype watch, it's like 90%. It's usually not too many changes. So we are looking at a 40 millimeter case. I measure 41 at the bezel, but 40 at the case. 47 lug to lug you can see really nice sharp turn down on those and they are drilled uh, this one's a thick one 14.3 thick and you do have a sapphire crystal with ar coating 20 millimeter lug width bracelet tapers down to 18 and you have a standard kind of milled out clasp that you see on a lot of micro brands and six micro adjust i do like the beads of rice center portion and then the outer brushed flanks I do have one complaint if Carlos if you do watch this and maybe this can or can't be changed this bracelet system is although probably really good so it's you have to have two screwdrivers there's a slot on this side and then you have this itty bitty 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 see if I can grab it you have this really small screw head here that screws in the other side very secure kind of a pain in the butt because you have to have two screwdrivers or use the tool systems that I do. Um, nice bracelet and nice system, you know, once you get it done, but doing it is actually kind of a pain in the butt. I honestly would prefer a split pin or just a regular uh, screw threaded. And again, like I said, this is a prototype. Maybe he's already addressing that. If, he's, if he watches this, he's more than welcome to comment down below or I'll write a, an amendment in the description. Anyway, back to the watch. 120 click dive bezel on this. This is a PVD steel coated bezel insert. So very tough, very clean and legible. And there's going to be a lot of BGW9 loom everywhere on this. So very nice, audible, clean bezel action. There's no play. I call that like the setback. So once you get to your, after your click and then you pull it back and then it's done. I don't really call that play. The bezel doesn't move around. It doesn't wiggle or anything. Uh, screw down crown on this one, obviously 300 meter water depth rating. They're using the NH35 in this because yours is a date. If you select a no date, they're going to use the correct movement. They're going to use the NH38, which is the Seiko no date movement. So you won't have that ghost position in the uh, crown. Also, uh, crown traction is a little not great. Although it is a larger crown at 7.4 millimeter, that el helps compensate for it. But if uh, I would like to see another change, I would put um, more grip like what's on the bezel, actually. The bezel is pretty easy to turn, actually. I just accidentally clicked it over one spot, as you just saw. So let's get back to the watch. So they drew inspiration for this one from 1960s and 1970s JDM divers. So I'm not very familiar with the older divers from that era of that region. But uh, I am familiar with Seiko, and I know they were making watches back then, which I'll do a side-by-side -side with that one in a minute. Uh, Carlos knows I'm a full loom or white dial or full loomed dialed fan, so he obviously sent me over this one knowing that I would enjoy the full loom. And you can see it as a sandwich dial, and that's how they got those indices in there. And then you have your chapter ring around the outside for your marks, so you can see that. Seconds hand reach all the way out to the end with a nice blue accented arrow tip on there. And this is the first time I've seen this handset used, especially from Borealis uh, or anybody else, but it's like a polished black handset. It's pretty cool looking and still tons of real estate for the loom. So let's, um, let's pop this guy on wrist. We'll do a side-by-side -side with the Seiko SKX, and then we'll do the loom shot because that's where it's going to be cool. So with that turn down of those lugs, although, the, like I said, this is a thicker watch, but with those, with that turn down, the way this case shape is, it just, it feels like something's just grabbing your wrist like this. I mean, it, it feels like it's just like, okay, boom, we're going to go on your wrist. Let's do this. 
um, it just grabs on and feels comfortable. It just contours directly to the shape of your wrist. It's very nice. And then with that bracelet, it's going to flow really good too because there's the links are so small, so short, so it just flows really well. Here it is next to a Seiko SKX, so you can have some size proportions. So you can see it visually looks smaller, even though it's a, a lighter colored dial, which typically is going to present larger. But it's only a 40 millimeter by 47, really. Um, you know, whereas the SKX is actually a larger watch. So this watch is going to work on smaller wrists, even though, as you can see, the end links do kind of extend out. Look at the angle that those are at. So that doesn't really, I mean, it does extend it, but it doesn't because it's actually draping over your wrist already. So it's really not a big deal on that one. Oh, in case we didn't show it, there's a look at the case back. Of course, you have the Mermaid back there, Borealis Watch Company, Neptuna, the name of it, which in case you didn't know, when Borealis names a watch, it's a, a region or a beach or a town or something like that in Portugal. So that's how they're named. So pretty cool. There's a little bit of history tied to each watch. All right, let's kill the lights and check this full loom dial. So you can see there, just tons of high quality loom. It's very clean and so, um, you know evenly applied, which when you do a full loom dial, you know we just assume that we're going to get a full loom dial, right? Well, they you know when they coat the dial, they have to do it so it's clean across the whole dial so you don't get any blotches or anything like that i'm sure there's way more to it than what we can really appreciate and a full loomed bezel as well so really well done on that i like the color it's super legible on that one all right guys thanks for watching big thanks to carlos for sending this over and i'll see you guys on the next vid